Hey, 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 stop. Were you just about to feed your 105 epics? Watch this video before you do because there's actually a way to not lose any EXP transferred, meaning you can get a full 100% EXP of your feeding epics. Hey, welcome back to another DFO video. And today I wanted to talk about the most efficient way to increase your options levels. If you ever notice you barely gain any option levels, this is probably why. The secret, it is super, super simple. It's by feeding duplicates. Actually, that's the uh, misconception here. You want to feed any epic with the same options and duplicates just fit that category. Why does this wording matter? Because you can actually target the option levels you want to level up and it doesn't have to be a duplicate. Same thing applies with weapons. For example, I have a short sword right here, okay? And I want to feed this Zambato with my short sword. My Zambato has around 13, uh, 1300 fame. As you can see, the option levels are gaining a ton and tons of EXP. And as you can see, the fame jumped 400. And the reason why they gain so much EXP is because they have the same options. Let's hover over the Zambato. As you can see, two Slayer skills, HP and Light Resistance. Short Sword, two Slayer skills, HP and Light Resistance. Those option EXP are going to fuse together and it's going to be lossless X EXP. You're going to get 100% of your feeding EXP. Now, for example, I'm going to put in this glove here. It has also 1300 fame, pretty much the same option levels as the Zambato. But when I put it in, you're going to see a drastic change in the fame and the option levels. And as you can see, I only gained what? I only gained one level, one level for all these. And I only gained like what? 100 fame. Granted, the result screen is a little bit bugged right now, but you can just look at the fame because the fame is accurate result. As you can see, I only gained 100 fame. And why is that? It's because the options don't match up. So the striker gloves, they don't have two Slayer skills. They don't have HP uh, per minute and they don't have light resistance. So all of this EXP from these options are going to be pretty much wasted. And so that's why uh, fusing or feeding duplicates or items with the same op and it will help you later down the road. Now let's do an example where the weapons aren't duplicates and they don't have all of the same option levels. Okay, so we're going to take this Jade uh, Ghost Tacit right here. And it has uh, avatar stuff, but it uh, has attack speed, cast speed and movement speed. So option three is very abundant in a lot of the pants here. And you're going to see in a moment that everything increases by very little, but the option three is going to increase by a ton, ton of amount. And to show you guys this, I'm going to put in my super black pants here. And as you can see on the options on the right side, it's going to have some basic stuff, basic attacks, hit rate. And then option four, it has attack speed and cast speed. It has the same option as option three in Jade Ghost Tacit. So what you're going to see here, is that option three increasing by a lot and everything else is very very little the end result of option one level 19 level 26 they only gain plus one level option three gain four levels and why is that it's because they have the same option and that option is lossless exp so you're going to gain 100 percent of your feeding exp option four there's no movement speed option there so it's just going to gain a base exp number right there this can also happen in the reverse as well. So if I put the uh, super black pants first, um, you can see this and I'm going to put in the J tacits here. And as you can see, once again, option four this time, attack speed to cast speed is going up. Uh, what is this? Eight levels and everything else is going up by one measly level. It's kind of like a base EXP amount right there. And with all that in mind, here is a super secret sauce, the Krabby Patty formula to increase your option levels by tons and tons of amount all right so basically here's the scenario okay we're gonna go to option fusion and i have this shoe at 1400 fame and i want to increase its options more and i just found this dupe right here of the same shoe but it only has 800 fame so if i put in this dupe here i'm actually going to gain like nothing because 
800 fame is basically nothing you can see the option levels like bro there's a level one option level you don't want to do this right this is going to gain like barely any, any exp even though it's a dupe so what you want to do is you want to get another shoe or you've been farming and you found a shoe with a huge amount of fame as you can see this is pretty big uh well pretty big for me um 1400 fame option one has level 37 and the rest are level 20s high 20s as you can see there so what you want to do is you want to go into this option level transfer and you're going to put in the duplicate shoe with super low fame and you want to put in the shoe that you just found it doesn't have to be a dupe it just be anything with super high fame and option levels and you want to transfer all of those stats into this black foot step right here so this dupe is going to gain all of these levels and fame and exp in my opinion do not do this when you're starting out and kind of gearing and kind of getting a feel for 105 epics this is more of an advanced strategy and it's more targeted towards people who have maybe around like 25 uh 27 000 plus fame they can farm golden barrels easier and they can do this method obviously if you're a rich whale or something you just want to ball out you can just buy golden barrels and do this strategy and you don't really care you're going to gain a lot a lot of exp so do this uh, with caution with caution and so once you do this transfer i'm not going to do this transfer because i'm actually broke but once you do this transfer your new dupe your new duplicate right here is going to have now we can do is get your main epic and then you can put in that duplicate with the new fame and option levels like the option one there was level 37 and the fame was 1400 and you want to put it into here and you're going to be gaining a ton and tons of exp and tons of fame so this is kind of the uh, secret sauce here the advanced technique to uh, gaining lots of option levels and getting a lot of fame and so when you're doing this method there are a few things you have to consider and a few steps that you have to follow um, just in case you kind of mess up or something and you ruin your best in slot piece, okay? Step one, you have to identify which piece has all of your amplifications, your enchantments, your quality upgrades, etc. And so for this example, just for this example, this right side Jade Ghost Tacit right here, it has the less fame as this one here, 1300, this one has 1100. Let's pretend that your 1100 right here had all your amps, it was superior quality, etc, etc, right? So naturally you would put your amplified piece here and you would want to feed epics into it, right? But if you're going to be using duplicate pieces and they have way more higher option levels and higher fame, you do not want to do this, okay? I repeat, you do not want to do this. First of all, your amplified piece what you're going to want to do is you want to inherit over to the higher level piece and to do that you're going to click on loaden you're going to get inherit for this example i can't really do it you want to put your amplified piece with the lower fame and you want to put the higher fame that you just got your duplicate into this section here and basically what it's going to do is going to inherit our amplification your enchantments to the higher fame and now once your inherit is done you're going to go to step two okay step two now that we have our amplified piece here with all your enchantments, you're going to put it into the slot and then you're going to feed your old epic that you inherit all of your stuff out of. And then you want to feed it into this slot here. And the reason why is once you have an epic with higher fame or higher option levels and you put in one with lower fame and lower option levels, there is actually a hidden mechanic where you can get a great success uh, feed so basically that is doubling the exp that you're gaining this only works if you're feeding a an epic that is lower than your current epic that you're feeding into you cannot do the reverse so if i put in my lower fame into the higher fame yes the option levels will be the same everything is pretty much the same but you will not get a chance at the great success which would be doubling your exp gain which is pretty pretty massive so keep that in mind when you're doing your option growth and doing this kind of duplicate uh, option growth method here and uh, that's pretty much all for the video hopefully i saved you guys some uh, exp some uh, option levels there but uh thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video peace